The film begins in the Middle Ages, in a place like the Wild West in America. During that time, a group of lawmen and ordinary people caught a notorious criminal called Red. They planned to punish him by hanging because Red had done many bad things like killing and stealing. But just before they could start the punishment, Red's gang called Blackweather showed up to rescue him. The gang included Bautista, Darko, Ramos, Snake, Washington, and their leader, who was Red's half-brother named Guerrero. After defeating all the sheriffs, they ran away into the forest. The next morning, while they were camping, Guerrero shared a story about his dream of meeting a demon in human form, which he believed lived in a special place in hell. After hearing the story, Red had good news for Guerrero and the rest of the gang. There was a small town called Andadale in Colorado. Initially, the town had a mine that produced mineral water, but two months ago, Red found out that the mines there actually had a lot of gold. However, the rights to the gold belonged to the miners of Andadale, led by a sheriff named John. There was a problem, though, because a marshal named Jack wanted to take control of the gold mine. Luckily, John was smart and managed to resist Jack's attempts to take away the rights of the town's residents. Red then suggested to Guerrero that they should seize the gold stored in the Andadale City Bank. They planned to use the gold to start a legitimate business so they wouldn't have to commit crimes anymore. At that time, Guerrero, who wanted to live peacefully, agreed with Red's idea and ordered his gang to head to the town the next morning. The following day, the Blackweather gang set off for the town of Andadale. Once there, they went to a bar and started intimidating the locals. There, Guerrero quickly made a plan to steal the gold later that night. He also instructed his men not to harm the townspeople who didn't fight back. Shortly after, Guerrero split up the tasks, sending two members to the sheriff's office while he and the others went to the bank. After overcoming the guards, Guerrero entered the bank and used dynamite to crack open the safe. Meanwhile, the two members outside started shooting at the sheriff's office. Sheriff John asked his wife, Galatea, to guard the office while he and his friends confronted the Blackweather gang. Once they had all the gold, Guerrero blew up the bank. Sheriff John, outnumbered, was captured and taken to a bar, where Galatea was also caught. Just as John approached Galatea, he was shot dead by Red. This enraged Guerrero, who ordered Red to leave the city since they had already achieved their goal. However, Red suddenly disobeyed Guerrero's orders and declared that he wanted to take control of the city. He even shot Guerrero, causing the other gang members to point their guns at Red. But Red showed them a document proving that he legally owned the mine. Seeing that Red was now very wealthy, all the gang members decided to support him instead. They shot Guerrero until he died exactly at midnight. The next day, Blackweather held a funeral for Guerrero. Afterwards, Red announced that he was now in charge and would rename Andadale City to Tombstone. Later, Guerrero miraculously woke up in the place he had always feared and it was hell. There, he encountered a demonic figure named Lucifer who began to torture him. Lucifer revealed that Guerrero's sins made the fires of hell burn hotter. Despite the torture, Guerrero made a deal to return to life and seek revenge against six members of his gang. Moreover, Guerrero realized that the six members also had committed grave sins, which would worsen the flames of hell. Seeing this, Lucifer agreed to Guerrero's request, but he gave Guerrero only 24 hours to kill the six members, and only Guerrero could do it. Additionally, Lucifer promised to set Guerrero free if he succeeded in bringing the six members to hell. Meanwhile, in the real world, a year had passed since Guerrero's death. The city of Tomstone was now under the control of Red and his gang, who had taken over the positions of city officials. They threw parties every night, with prostitutes entertaining them. At midnight, exactly one year after his death, Guerrero rose from his grave. His return caused a slight change in the atmosphere of Tomstone, including a bullet hole mysteriously appearing in the bar's wall clock. Ramos, who believed in the supernatural, became scared and decided to leave and go back home. When Ramos returned home, he felt something strange, like hearing a man's voice from the horse stable. He found his men cleaning Red's weapons there. Suddenly, one of Ramos's men was shot by Guerrero. Then, another of Ramos's men was shot dead by Guerrero using a cannon. 
At that time, Guerrero, covered in mud from the grave, was assembling his rifle when Ramos approached him. Then, Guerrero shot and killed Ramos. Afterward, Guerrero changed into his old clothes and took Ramos' body to a church. There, he met a priest and Galatea, who wanted revenge against Red. Soon after, Guerrero asked for their help to gather six coffins for the six members. He put Ramos's body in one coffin and left to hunt down the other five members. The next morning, Bautista and his men found Ramos's lifeless body in a coffin. They heard noises from the slaughterhouse and investigated. But as soon as they entered, Guerrero shot them down. Bautista and his men then stormed the slaughterhouse, firing their weapons, but none of their shots hit Guerrero. At the same time, Guerrero started taking down Bautista's men one by one, eventually killing Bautista himself. He placed Bautista's body in a coffin, and many residents witnessed this, beginning to support Guerrero's actions. As Guerrero entered the church, Galatea approached him, recognizing him as a member of Blackweather, who had been killed a year ago. Despite the miraculous resurrection, Galatea didn't question it and offered to help Guerrero fight against Red's troops. She explained that for a year, there had been no response from the marshal or the government to deal with Red's forces. Despite her good intentions, Guerrero refused her help and revealed that he was the one who had to kill the six Blackweather members. Meanwhile, Red, now the sheriff, was shocked by the news of Ramos and Bautista's deaths. He and the remaining gang members went to the church, where they found the bodies of Ramos and Bautista lying in coffins with pieces of paper from the holy book attached to them. On the other side, Guerrero went to the bar to attract Blackweather's attention. There he met Lucifer, who reminded Guerrero that he had only 12 hours left to kill all the Blackweather members. Lucifer also warned Guerrero that Galatea might disrupt his plans because she wanted to avenge her husband's death by killing Red. When Red and his troops realized that the man who had killed their members was in the bar, they surrounded it and confronted Guerrero. However, when they discovered that the man was Guerrero, who had come back from the dead, Red and the others were shocked. Soon after, a fierce battle broke out between Guerrero and Red's troops. At that time, Guerrero managed to kill Darko. Then, as his men started to fall, Red tried to escape. But before he could leave, Galatea confronted him, aiming to kill him. However, Guerrero protected Red, and in the chaos, he got trampled by Red's horse and fainted. When Guerrero regained consciousness, Galatea scolded him for shielding Red. Guerrero explained that he had made a pact with the devil, and if he succeeded in killing the Blackweather members himself, he would be freed from Hellfire. Understanding this, Galatea agreed to follow his lead. Though she wouldn't directly intervene in killing the Blackweather members, she promised to help Guerrero. Additionally, civilians joined in to fight against Red's men. Soon after, Guerrero and Galatea went to the mine where the remaining Blackweather members were hiding. When they arrived, Guerrero easily took out the guards at the mine entrance. They entered the mine and got into a shootout with Red's troops. Suddenly, Marshal Jack and his men showed up. It was then revealed that Red had been working with Jack for a year and a half. Turns out Jack had hired Red to control the city and set up a gold mining business without interference. He also sent many people to join Red's gang. Jack took Red back to town, while Snake, Washington, and Red's men were left to deal with Guerrero. Then, Snake sent two men to kill Guerrero, but they ended up being killed themselves. Shortly after, Guerrero and Galatea used a minecart to send their bodies back. When bullets couldn't stop Guerrero, Washington threw dynamite at them. But Guerrero and Galatea managed to get undercover and secretly killed Washington. As Guerrero and Galatea carried Washington's body in a horse-drawn carriage, Snake spotted them and chased after them. During the chase, Guerrero used dynamite to fend off Snake's men. When they reached town, Galatea accidentally fell from her horse, and Guerrero was shot in the shoulder. Then, Red seized the chance to kidnap Galatea and take her to a bar, but upon arriving, he handed her over to Snake. At that moment, Snake demanded Guerrero surrender himself, threatening to kill Galatea if he refused. Before Snake could shoot Galatea, Guerrero hit him in the head. The citizens joined in, 
helping Guerrero fight against Red's men. Unfortunately, Guerrero was shot several times during the fight, ultimately resulting in his second death. Then his spirit descended to hell, where Lucifer gave him one more chance, granting him an hour to complete his task. Meanwhile, Ren had taken Galatea hostage and met with Jack to discuss. There, Jack realized the city was descending into chaos as rebellious residents gathered. In a fit of anger, Jack insulted Red, who retaliated by killing him. When Jack was found dead, the residents stormed into his office. Red, with Galatea as a hostage, fled while surrounded by residents. Soon after, Guerrero was given one hour to kill Red. However, Red, showing some bravery, let Galatea go and faced Guerrero in a shootout. But Lucifer intervened, making Guerrero's bullets miss Red. At that time, Lucifer suggested they settle the matter with a duel without guns. Soon after, Guerrero dragged Red into a warehouse, and they exchanged blows until he finally killed Red with a hoe. Soon after, Guerrero placed the bodies of the six Blackweather members in coffins in front of the church, then went inside and met Lucifer. In that moment, Guerrero felt relieved, thinking his task was done and he could return to life. However, Lucifer pointed out that Guerrero was late by 20 minutes. Sadly, Guerrero had failed to fulfill his duty on time. Shortly after, Lucifer proposed a new deal that Guerrero has to help him kill evil people on Earth, making Hell's torment worse for sinners. Not wanting to go to Hell, he reluctantly agreed. Soon after, Lucifer returned to Hell and made the same deal with Red. This means Guerrero will face Red again. The film ends. The moral lesson from this film is if you're late to kill your enemies, make sure to negotiate a better deal with the devil, because there's always a chance for a rematch in hell.